So this is our easy lemon chicken. Today's recipe is easy lemon chicken. <laughs> that sounds easy just in the title, doesn't it? Well, of course, all our recipes are simple. So we're gonna make this so much fun and so much so delicious. So basic chicken, we're gonna take it and we're gonna kick it up two or three notches by adding some herbs, some spices, and you know I got a lot of helpful tips. So you gotta stick around for those as well. So please subscribe to our channel. Love to have you watch all of our videos got lots of chicken videos and please let us know in the comments if you have anything like you'd like to know about with the chicken maybe you got a question for me okay maybe you have some experiences you'd like to share put them in our comments and always the description includes our recipes so it's really easy to follow now I'm chef Don McMillan and we're gonna make this happen well here's our ingredients to make all of these wonderful things come together and the best lemon chicken you've ever eaten Fresh basil, fresh from my herb garden. The way I like to do basil is to nest them one on top of the other, just as I'm doing right here. Place the leaves one on top of the other. And then we're going to roll them. And then we're going to do a little chiffonade like this. So this is a typical French terminology, chiffonade. There's a lot of French in cooking because Karem wrote the first cookbook and consequently all the recipes kind of followed with the same terminology, maybe different pronunciations in the languages. So basil, we're gonna twist it like this, just turn it, turn it, turn it, and then lay it on the cutting board, and then with your knife, just nice chip and knot. That's gonna release the flavors. And we got a little bit more left, let's get that in there. And then we'll go to the next ingredient that we're going to add to our, uh, we're gonna do like a rub on our chicken. Fresh garlic. So I'm taking the fresh garlic, it's been peeled. What I'm going to do now is just make a series of vertical slices, turn it, and vertical slices again, just like that. A couple of slices here and there, turn it, more slices, etc. I'm actually doing what is called a mince. So we're gonna mince it in just a second. Turn it. And then just place your knife on top and just going back and forth, just like this. Gather it and chop. Okay, now that our garlic is done, we'll put that off to the side. I'm going to do some green onions. So with the green onions, I'm going to cut off the roots. I don't need those. And sometimes you can just peel off that little skin that's on the outside like that. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then I'm going to just dice them and I'm gonna use the green and the white part. Just go like that. You'll notice how I hold my knife, firm grip on four fingers and the thumb on the bolt and I curl my fingertips so that the knife is rotating on my knuckles and I'm guiding the knife exactly where it wants to go. All right let's do a few more pieces of green onion here. Let's see the skin here. Yep we got all of that and we'll go back and dice these. So the green onion is going to give it a nice onion flavor, a little bit more mild than, say, if we were to use traditional onions. All right, I don't want those end pieces, so let's put those over there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some lemon. So with the lemon, what I do is I'm going to take the zest. This is a zester. And the zest that works just like this is that you just gather the lemon zest one swipe and see how it comes up there like that? And then just go in this manner. 
Move the lemon a little bit at a time and then just go one swipe. The lemon zest is really where the flavor is in citrus fruits. So if you want the orange or the lime or even the grapefruit flavors, you gather it from the zest. Now, we are gonna use the lemon juice as well and I'm gonna show you a neat way to juice the lemon too. I told you I was gonna share a lot of tips I've been cooking for most of my life and it's just my joy to cook and of course to share. So here's our zest, tap your, on your bowl. Now we added some flavor, we're gonna add some juice. So with the lemon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this end and this end, exposing the juice part. Divide the lemon in half like that. Place it into my juicer like this and squeeze. I want to get the maximum amount of juice out of my lemon, so I'm just going to flip it like this and squeeze again, and look how much more juice comes out of that lemon. Now I extracted the maximum amount of juice. Let me go get the rest of the juice from the other half, like this. Okay. Now, to our mixture, we're also going to add salt and pepper. So let's add in some pepper. And, hey Louis, get back up there. My little chef is moving. Uh, salt. And let's put in our ingredients. Get all of that in there, and we're now going to make an herb rub to go onto our chicken. All right, it's okay. So, herbs, spices in here. Let's mix them up, get them all going good. Mmm, that even smells so good like that. Now, olive oil. Let's place that in there. And now we're going to introduce this wonderful mixture to our chicken. So let's get all of that into the bowl with the chicken. And I'm using the white meat chicken. You certainly could use dark meat chicken. This is boneless uh, chicken breast. I've got a little bit of chicken skin in there for some extra chicken flavor because we know fat tastes good, right? And that is so important. Look how happy this chicken is coming. If it could talk, it would be saying wonderful words like, put me in the oven, I'm almost ready to eat. And there it is. Now, let's go ahead. We've got olive oil in here. I lined my pan with foil. So let's transfer it to our baking pan. I want a pan that's not very high lid because I want a nice roast and brown color on our chicken. So that's why I chose a sheet pan to do that. Using my tongs, I'm going to position the chicken. I don't want it on top of one another, because if I did that, it would cook up uh, wrong. And I want that flavor in there. Let's get that. We got a little bit of the chicken skin there, and that's going to be so flavorful as well. Okay, here's my white meat chicken. It's going to go into a hot oven, about 375 degrees. Should take no more than say 20 minutes we're going to keep an eye on it. well our chicken is ready how do i know i use my meat thermometer remember the temperature i told you before 165 it tested at 165 i tested the biggest pieces put it in there and now i know it's ready to eat so this is our easy lemon chicken you know we added some great herbs on that so we'd love for you to comment on it you know you can get the recipe down in the description. You also know that you can like us and please subscribe because I have got so many wonderful, wonderful recipes to share with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and plate this up right here. Oh my goodness, leave all those little bits and pieces of garlic and spices on there because we're gonna enjoy every bite. I got a little piece with the skin on just in case you like that way. And this is it, my friends. This is it. 
It's simple and as always, it's delicious. <laughs>